I loathe exposition. It normally tells me that the director and or writer has been lazy in finding an innovative way to show something rather than just have the character say it. But there is one director, writer, that bucks this trend. You don't have to know how to make a movie. If you truly love cinema with all your heart and with enough passion, you can't help but make a good movie. On the surface, Quentin Tarantino directed this scene to be slow and, well, quite boring. We watch a brand new character listening to another brand new character talk exposition. But what seems like an awful directing choice on paper actually has a multitude of brilliant directorial choices laced within its deceiving simplicity. How many flights do you think you get in you anyway? Hmm? Two? This line lets us know that Brucey is a fighter of some sort, but more importantly, that he's been doing this for some while, and he's coming to the end of his career. Brucey's character would already know this information, which makes it bad exposition. However, this line also lets the audience surmise that this conversation has something to do with that problem. Especially, as Willis doesn't seem to react to this very provocative comment, helps us reconfirm that fact. You came close, but you never made it. And if you were gonna make it, you would have made it before now. Again, this is completely unnecessary information. Mr. Willis already knows this. However, it is very necessary for character motivation as we start to understand why this conversation is happening in the first place. The mysterious man is trying to convince Bruce's character to take a bribe by putting his career in perspective. So, by reminding him of this, the deep-voiced man is hoping to cut through the boxer's pride and appeal to his logic. In the fifth, your ass goes down. This seems totally arbitrary again. We already understand that this is a meeting to throw a match. So why would we want to know about, well, which bout of the match Brucey will take a dive on? This on paper will be seen like awful exposition as it is information the audience just don't need. However, it motivates Bruce Willis's reactions. This, in turn, ensures that when Bruce finally reveals his double cross at the end of the film, the audience feels that this was always there in his character. Say it. In the fifth, my ass goes down. This is a wonderful writing choice, as information that is given more than once in a movie is like taking a 100-foot neon pointer in the cinema, telling everyone, Remember this, it's important. Quentin Tarantino uses exposition like a chess master, wielding subtext delicately underneath, like a feather in one moment, and then like a sledgehammer in the next. So, begrudgingly, I may have to give up my war on exposition in films if more directors treat their exposition as opportunities to give us so much more.